Hi, this is Joseph Klein, and this is the video walkthrough for the 1988 Tartan 31 that I just listed. And these come up fairly rarely on the West Coast, but this is a really great example of one. This Tartan 31, as you'll notice right now, has the has the sails down, but they're just stored to avoid UV damage. They're in great shape. Uh, you have a Dacron main and a Dacron 130%. Uh, as you can see walking up, lots of great access on the deck. You can see very wide walkways here. Lots of great things to hold on to. You can see uh, there's all this great teak on board. The owner is shortly uh, going to be sanding all this and re-varnishing it. So it will be looking in tip-top shape fairly soon. As you can see, a huge cockpit area on this boat. Lots of great usable space. Um, another really great feature on this is a very recently added Dodger here. Um, you can see it's in great shape. Uh, dark blue canvas on that. The canvas is in great shape here. You can see very little marking on that. I'll come on aboard, I'll show you a little bit more. So you can see we have a really great traveler set up here with the lines leading through the Dodger so you have access while you're covered. A uh, really great option here. You can see all the stainless steel is really polished out on her. She's just looking in great shape. Walking up forward again, lots of room to walk. Uh, you'll notice that the anchor is stored down below. Again, this listing I just took, I'll be posting a lot more information on Yacht World fairly soon. Again, a lot to learn on this very cool boat. Coming back, you can see again, really great cockpit area. Down below, you can see sails are stowed. Uh, down below here, we'll also have a propane tank. Emergency manual bilge pump. Uh, we have Jensen speakers here, a Ritchie compass. You also notice that the, the backstay is a double backstay, and we have a really nice drop down stainless steel swim step. So, very nice feature. It's very easy access and yet also out of the way. Uh, looking forward here, you can see just what a clean cockpit this is. Really great layout, very nice for a 31 foot boat. Down below here, we have a window to down below. So the aft bed really gets a lot of natural light down below. Walking up forward, you could see here that we have a data marine depth, um, another Ritchie compass, Ritchie compass here as well, data marine wind and speed. Let's go down below. So you can see a very nice open layout, very airy. Lots of natural light comes down below on this boat. <clears throat> very nice galley here. Let's see, we have a Regal gas powered two burner stove and oven. Uh, we have an ice box on this vessel, a nice stainless steel sink, lots of dry storage throughout. Um, this boat, you'll be amazed with the amount of storage that it has on board. Uh, whether it's cabinetry, drawers, or just dry storage throughout, um, lots of great storage down below on this boat. As you see in the settee area here, this is a really great layout. Um, I have a lot of people asking for this type of layout in particular. As you can see, this table folds down, very large table. Um, just because I'm holding the camera, I'm not going to be able to do it just one-handed, uh, just to be able to show you, but the photos are on Yacht World. You'll be able to see just how easy that is to operate with a large table that folds out to. As you can see over here, very large settee, also popular. A Pullman style bunk. So as you can see, very easy to convert that space into sleeping for two. <clears throat> Whereas just before you had one settee, you can now easily comfortably sleep two adults here. And on the other side, one more on this as you can see, also lots of great handholds throughout. Throughout this vessel, you're gonna find anywhere you're walking, there's always something to grab onto. I think this is a really great safety feature. Uh, if you're gonna be blue water cruising this boat, lots of great safety options on board here. Very sturdy boat. Um, the owner also has 
this electric radiator here. Um, very great for when you're under shore power, uh, keep the boat warm. Going up to the master forward, see not lots of natural light. Very nice hanging locker, storage here, very comfortable seating. Again, a very large berth for her size. And above, a very large hatch. And that provides a lot of natural light here. You'll notice we have no lights on aboard this vessel, and yet it's still a very, very airy boat. But at night, you'll notice there is a lot of um, artificial lighting on board her. So at no time will you feel dark or cramped in this boat. Going into the day head. See, so we have a Japsco manual flush head here. Something really great about this option is that there's lots of mirrors in this vessel. And as you can see in this, in this head here, all the mirrors really make it feel like a much larger space than it is. Even though it's already a fairly large, large space for the boat, uh, it just really opens things up, makes it feel very light and airy aboard here. Now walking back, you can see the owner currently has carpeting put in. This has really preserved the wood down below. So if you pop this up, you'll see the wood's in great condition. Uh, not very much UV damage on that at all. Not very much scratching. A really great way to preserve the boat. Coming back here, you can see the nav station. And as you can see in the nav station, we have Maxima stereo here. Um, your switchboard. And very nice feature pull-up nav station here. So when you're not using it, you just have space to the rear berth. Though when you do need it, it's a really great seating area. You just perch up here, read all your charts, you can plan out your destination. But otherwise, just look back here. A lot of nice, really a lot of square footage back here. Also, you're not going to feel too cramped because you have a nice, um, nice hatch here. So you do get a lot of natural light in this rear area. So though you're tucked back, you know, you're getting a lot of natural light and you're also having great views up forward. So you're not feeling too, you know, too confined back here. A really great space and you could fit, you know, two adults back here comfortably. Down below here we have the Yanmar 16 horsepower diesel. Um, again, just because I'm holding the camera, I'm not going to pop this open. But if you check out the Yacht World listing, you'll see the engine is in almost immaculate condition very well maintained engine on this boat uh, so really a great a great way to get into aboard a 31 foot vessel that's been very well maintained uh, here we have the standard horizon explorer and again just looking back lots of space support this boat well if you have any uh, questions about this boat if you'd like to schedule a viewing on this boat feel free to contact me anytime my name is joseph klein you can reach me on cell at 619-253-7903. Email me at josephk at cruisingyachts.net. Or check out our website at cruisingyachts.net. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks.